really want to go first, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good no. to see you again, Spike. Great to see you um, too. Today, I'd like to ask you about the the VA. Okay. Um, I've gotten a lot of information about the VA, and it's very concerning and, and disheartening. You know about the rating system and the percentages and how they're, it, it's basically a clerical and administration nightmare. Yep. Yep. And so it's kind of a multi-question, but what would you do about the VA, but more or less, it's the tens of thousands of our, of our veterans, these people that have served, that have, have committed suicide. And then it's also the ones that are homeless. These are the people that served our country and it, doesn't appear that the Democrats or Republicans want to help. They say no, they'll do no. stuff, but what can you and Joe do to help these, you know, the suicide rate and also the home homelessness, and of they, course the VA also. Absolutely, and thank you for that question. And and you're right, they don't want to fix the problem. They actually like the problem existing. They want it to be worse. That way they can grandstand on it. They can come in and go, look at this terrible system that's been created by, I don't know who, I, I know I've been in office this whole time, but it clearly is someone else's fault. We need to fix this. And what we need is more of your money and, and more of your control of your life and more of everything else. We need more and more and more control so that we can fix this problem that we created. Let's be very clear about the VA. Millions of Americans sign an oath to protect and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and when they come home, if they are lucky enough not to come home in a flag-draped coffin, if instead they come home with PTSD and traumatic brain injuries and other chronic health issues, they are subjected to the worst form of health care in this country, the Veterans Administration. Now, I have talked to veterans here in Indiana and in surrounding states and around the country, and I have yet to come across one who said that they were happy with the VA. And so here's what we found out when we looked at the VA. This may come as a shock to you, but government is so inefficient at providing health care that the cost of the VA, which has objectively the worst outcomes for any medical system in this country, it actually costs more than simply giving veterans the money that they need to go and buy their own health insurance, which would lead to way better outcomes for them. Not only would they have better outcomes, not only would there be fewer health problems, not only would there be less addiction as a result of not getting the care they need for chronic uh, health and, and chronic pain issues, which leads to addiction and leads to overdoses and things like that. Not only would there be fewer suicides as a result of the fact that they're actually getting the mental health care that they need after being used in the perpetual war machine, but the taxpayers in addition to that, including those veteran taxpayers, would save billions of dollars a year by simply scrapping the VA, which should have never existed in the first place, and putting the money back in the hands of the veterans so that they can go and get the health care that they need. That is our plan for the VA. Not only does it fix the system, but it fixes all of the ancillary problems that come as a result. But it, fix the, it fixes the abuse problems, it fixes the health problems, it fixes the suicide problems, and it often fixes the homelessness problems because just like with other people, Veterans are often homeless because of other issues, because of, of psychological issues, because of addiction. So it solves a myriad of problems by simply getting government out of it and giving them the money that they earned. So next question.